Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey Aim here. So today I'll be telling you about this Let's Go League I'm doing. Uh, it's a Wi-Fi battle league. Basically the GBA isn't starting. They're doing Let's Go uh, and it isn't starting for a while. We all thought it was starting you know, right away, but not everybody has a switch and whatnot. So I think not until January plus. Uh, so I kind of didn't want to wait and neither did Gator or Envy. And um, I decided to make my own little draft league type of thing, but it's not the same uh, 6v6 battles because let's go obviously has the 20 minute timer which means that 6v6 battles are a lot harder so the way my draft league works is you draft nine Pokemon you uh, you bring six and you pick three when you battle right you pick three to battle and it's a best of three so basically my combination of six Pokemon uh, you'll see it obviously when the battles start next week but basically when the combination the combination of six Pokemon can essentially be a bunch of different types of teams uh, because I'll give you a little example. I'm playing uh, my boy Drew, Mr. Talent, week one. Only eight people in the league. Um, and I ended up splitting the draft in two, basically. So uh, four people in one draft, four people in the other. We all got full drafts. Uh, the Pokemon that I banned, just to give you guys a little rundown. I banned Starter Eevee, Starter Pikachu, uh, Mega Alakazam, Mega Gengar, Mew, and Mewtwo. Just because I felt like it would be a little bit unfair for only two people could potentially have Alolan Muck. We all battle each other, but I wanted the draft to be split. That way some people could get better Pokemon. Um, but... So I, I battle Drew, right, week one. What would happen is I make my team a six to combat all nine of his Pokemon, or attempt to. And then when we get into the Wi-Fi battle, I only pick three. He's only going to pick three, and we battle. Uh, I win, he wins, that's game one. We go into game two, same exact team, same exact team, but I can pick a separate three. I can pick the same three. doesn't matter. It's the exact same team, uh, and you go from there. It's best of three, and we thought it would be the best way to... Uh, basically get around the timer thing and also be a lot of fun let's go is definitely a more casual game i don't think anybody can deny that uh so i thought as a league for league purposes it'd be a lot more fun and again this will be on the switch so you get to see the nice beautiful graphics which makes me very very uh, very happy so i'll be talking about my draft and um yeah i mean I, I'm sure you guys already know about five people who are in it but i'll just tell you the whole list uh so it's chimpak mv myself gator obviously and then you have mr talent aka drew uh, Pokemon, Kale, and Nexus. Uh, so, a lot of friends, and uh, basically people who have the Switch and have the game. That's what's important, too. Uh, but again, it's just a little pre thing before the GBA. Just a little fun league as well, because I'm not sure if that's how we're actually doing the GBA, but it's a good test for it. So, uh, I'll talk about my draft and uh, let's get right into it. So, and then essentially, I want, or initially, I wanted uh, Charizard X or Ch Mega Charizard rather as my first pick because Charizard has the uh, ability to be both Megas and I didn't separate them because Zard Y is essentially a bad Pokemon just because all it has over Zard X is a stronger flamethrower. Uh, there's no obviously sunny day in the game, there's no drought. Uh, Solar Beam is a two turn charge move, doesn't have Focus Blast. So basically special Zard X is essentially better than Zard Y uh, just because Zard X also has good special attack as well as access to Dragon Pulse. Um, but I wanted Zardex because it could Will-O-Wisp and Roost and whatnot. Uh, but Gator was the person who was right before me and he picked uh, Mega Zardes first. So I ended up picking Mega Aerodactyl. I thought Mega Aerodactyl was still a completely great Pokemon. First off, fastest Pokemon there is. Um, with Mega Zam banned, Mega Aerodactyl is the fastest Pokemon, so I would not be outsped by anything. Uh, it's also incredibly bulky. I've been wanting to draft Mega Aerodactyl in any draft league for the longest. Uh, I always said, oh, this is the next Pokemon draft. This is the next Pokemon draft. But I never ended up happening because I haven't played a, a single OU draft league since the last GBA. Uh, so Mega Aero, I'm really happy to have it. Uh, still has access to Roost, Taunt, Rocks. I think that Rocks are actually bad in a bring six, pick three format. Because if you're going for rocks that turn, you're essentially giving up a turn of damage in a metagame that's so punishing, right? Uh, where mons are always two KOing other mons or something's going down. So I think rocks are essentially bad, but it does have rocks as a fast rocks, uh, access to roost, earthquake, rock slide, um, you know, wing attack, a stab, whatever, taunt. Really important. So I thought it'd be a great Pokemon. Fastest mon there is. Also helps me deal with Zard, which I think is going to be a complete problem. And other Pokemon like Venomoth. Um, Gengar and whatnot that I think are going to be problems because even though I did draft something for instance uh, that doesn't mean that I'm going to be the only one with a Mega Arrow uh, let me actually see if I can check the other side yeah Pokemon also has a Mega Arrow uh, so again I, I, I split up the drafts just for the initial draft that way people could have 
it'd be fair what you have, but we're battling everybody at least once. So seven weeks, uh, semifinals, finals. That's how it goes. But I thought Mega Arrow would be a great uh, pick. Fast, strong, that's it. Starmie was my next answer. Now, I wanted something uh, that could deal with fighting types. Um, I also wanted something that was also relatively fast as well. Pokemon like Gengar, uh, Dodrio, etc. Really an issue. And I felt that Aerodactyl gave me both offensive presence and a mon that doesn't die and speed. I thought Starmie could do the same. Also, access to Thunder Wave would be really cool and does have recover of one of the few mons in the meta that, uh, or in the game rather, that has access to reliable recovery. Uh, and obviously having good dual stabs, uh, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, etc. Thought it'd be pretty cool. Now, um, Water Resist was also pretty important for Mega Aerodactyl. That's why I thought they pair really well together. Machamp is the next Mon. Uh, I thought Machamp was good because it gave me uh, a Rock Resist. So something for Arrow. Uh, but also giving me something to deal with potentially fat Pokemon like Snorlax, which I think was pretty important. A uh, Normal types in general, Chansey. Which can be a little bit problematic. Not really though, because Arrow kind of took it. I was chancy with Rock Slide. It was like 80%, 90. It does something ridiculous to Chansey. This is a non-candy meta level 50, by the way. So no candies, nothing like that. This is the way we're doing it. Uh, but giving me a strong fighting type, uh, really, really bulky. It's the bulkiest of the fighting types, I think, outside of Polyrath. Um, but also, Polyrath obviously shares a weakness with Starmie to uh, Electric. Uh, so I wanted my champ over that. Uh, good move pull too. Elemental punches, earthquake, bulk up as well. So it has access to, to a setup move. And again, just decently bulky. So I wanted that mon. And with Starmie being a psychic resist, it works really well. Needle Queen was my next member. Uh, I wanted an electro type immunity because I didn't want something like Jolteon. So even though again, Aerodactyl can outspeed it and probably knock it out with earthquake. Um, still wanted something for electro types, uh, especially Zapdos. Zapdos is definitely a threat. And I think there's going to be two Zapdos I end up facing in this league. So, Needle Queen made a lot of sense. Um, bulky Pokemon in general. Uh, good. Has good move pull as well. I picked it over Needle King just because of its overall bulk. Gator was trying to argue with me that Needle King's probably better in this format, but I, I, don't, I don't know. Who knows? I like Needle King for the overall bulk. Uh, its resistance to uh, fighting. Um, its um, immunity to electric. Uh, its ability to basically take on hits that would otherwise threaten I think Aerodactyl, Starmie and whatnot. Besides water obviously, but then Starmie helps with that as well. So that's why I wanted Needle Queen, strong ground type, potentially rocks too, but again I don't think rocks are gonna be as good in a 3v3 type of format where everything the, the only EVs you could do is max IVs and then your nature. <laughs> so I don't think that uh, any of that will matter too much. But again Fatmon has a few tricks up his sleeve too. Moltres is the next Pokemon I picked. I wanted a fire type. I wanted will o -Wisp specifically uh, for physical attackers. I think Moltres is fantastic, especially because I think I have the best rock type besides Rhydon uh, in Mega Aerodactyl. So will o -Wisp is nice. Access to reliable recovery and roost. Again, the whole thing about rocks not being as good in this, which I sincerely believe. Um, I think it's fantastic for Moltres. Uh, decently bulky. Access to flamethrower. That's basically all Moltres really has to offer. And then also the U-turn. Uh, I thought U-turn was pretty cool. Uh, for getting in Pokemon like Arrow, getting in Pokemon like Machamp, especially because Moltres kind of uh, lures in those uh, bulky rock types or water types in general, so I can switch out to something that can deal with that. That's why I wanted Moltres. Uh, decently fast as well, and um, again, overall bulky. So Magneton was the next member I needed. I I needed a Psychic Resist because regular Alakazam is still in the game, uh, and we can still pick that. And as you can see, a lot of my mods don't appreciate that. Obviously, Moltres can take a hit. Uh, Starmie, Aerodactyl outspeeds it and doesn't care. Uh, I'm pretty sure even Needle Queen and Machamp can take hits if I uh, if I nature them <laughs> to take hits. I was about to say Eevee, but no. If I nature them to take hits, they can probably take a hit. But I want a Magneton. Uh, Magneton, I think, is a fantastic Steel type. Uh, Melmetal was taken. Um, I was thinking about Alolan Sand Slash, but I kind of opted for Magneton over just because of Thunder Wave. Uh, and again, also with Thunderbolt being able to uh, threaten bulky waters, and also being able to threaten rock types while being an electro type, right? Or ground types and rock types while being an electro type. Uh, something that a lot of the electro types don't actually do, besides a lowland Raichu, I feel. Electrode and Jolteon can't really threaten grounds. Whereas Magneton has Flash Cannon for, you know, some of the best grounds. Uh, Golem and Rhydon, specifically Rhydon. So I have that to threaten them. Uh, it's not to a KO by Zam, which is really good too. I, I ran the few calcs. Not to a KO by Zam, which is nice. Whereas Thunderbolt does to a KO back. And um, 
Yeah, I mean, this mod isn't probably going to be doing too much moveset-wise. A lot of them aren't. But uh, I think it's a Pokemon that I can actually work with, especially because I have two ground immunities. Um, I have Fighting Resist. I have Fire Resist. So I have ways of dealing with the Pokemon that Magneton is weak to. And it also just helps me, again, deal with bulky waters. Gengar was the next member I wanted. I didn't want to... Well, I didn't want anybody on my side getting Gengar, but offensively, I think Gengar's great. Taunt, will o -Wisp, Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, access to Dazzling Gleam, and Thunderbolt as well. Um, can also self-destruct if need be. Can abuse Sub. Like, I just think Gengar is fantastic. Uh, next to Alakazam, I think it's the best... Um, the best special attacker in its stab, in a sense, right? Like, Alakazam, I think, is the best uh, special attacker in Psychic. Um... Mainly because it has it's faster than Starmie and it actually finds with Shadow Ball. I think Gengar's similar to that, and uh, with limited counters in this as well. I was actually thinking maybe I should have banned Gengar as well as uh, regular Zam too because Psychic is annoying. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I picked it up, so we'll see how good Gengar is. Obviously, giving me another uh, ground weakness. I have three ground weaknesses so far, but it's fine. Uh, Mega Venusaur was the next member. So the way this worked is if your group already if everybody in your group already had one Mega You were allowed to pick up a second Mega and because there's just enough Megas in let's go uh, Basically, everybody could get two good Megas. So I want a Mega Venusaur uh, Specifically because Mega Gyarados is a problem. I think Machamp and Mega Venusaur really do deal well with that um, Also giving me a nice electric resist uh, A Pokemon that doesn't care about water type attacks too. a water resist is important too uh, both that and Starmie I think really work well and then access to leech seed and sleep powder So giving me a sleep move is pretty cool. And the cool thing is like I can bring The base forms of megas aren't banned basically um, I can bring both megas to my game, right? I can bring Aerodactyl and Venusaur and it just be a regular Venusaur I'm not forced to mega evolve with my mega. So we also had you know separate drafts, right? So uh, for instance drew drafted a regular Venusaur So I technically have a regular Venusaur and a mega Venusaur where he only has a regular Venusaur um, and it's still good because again uh, key stones or key or mega stones are essentially just key items So it's just a regular Venusaur prior to mega evolving and it gives me also options You know Gator was the one who suggested that we potentially get two. I liked it because especially in a brings uh, Pick six or excuse me bring six pick three format It gives a lot more options as well overall for a team as a whole so really excited about mega Venusaur incredibly bulky decently fast as well Great stats last but not least I, I got a little eradicate so like I got this because it was either between this or another fast sweeper or potentially a Lolan Sand Slash. I opted for a Lolan Raticate mainly because of Sucker Punch. Um, Zam is very annoying. Zam can be very annoying uh, to me, and it, I don't know how often I'm actually gonna bring this thing because, like, my team looks incredible, and then you have an Lolan Raticate on it. I just think like offense, like I think these are some scary Pokemon, right? To switch into, and then you have a Lolan Raticate, which isn't as scary. Uh, at all, especially because it lacks hustle and abilities and whatnot. But I feel like with Sucker Punch, I can at least play some mind games versus Zam. Uh, it's also decently bulky and has some cool text like Super Fang and whatnot, which can be good for essentially the rest of the team going forward. So um, that's kind of why I drafted Alone Eradicate. There were a few other mons, but obviously a lot of Pokemon ended up getting sniped too uh, that I wasn't thinking about. But I don't know. I, I, I really. I, I don't regret this pick at all because I feel like I'm not going to lose the Gengar. I'm not going to lose the Zam. Yeah, they can sub and Dazzling Gleam or whatever, but this Pokemon is relatively bulky, uh, especially if I go Careful Nature, so could be cool. I don't know. But guys, let me know your thoughts. Uh, the Draft League is hopefully starting, uh, I think week one will probably be up Sunday of not this week, but next week. So I want to say week one starts uh, the second. Week one goes up the second. We want to get it before you know Smash Ultimate comes out. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. I hope you're excited because I'm really excited to play and just use Pokemon that I I, I really want to use uh, But of course if you guys did enjoy feel free to leave a like. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye my friends